Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. Welcome everybody to a short and brief demonstration on my botnet. Um, so today I'm going to show you what I've done so far um, with my botnet. As I told you before, we have a, you know, the botmaster. So let's launch it. And basically I've created a simple program here just to launch multiple. This is a pretty, pretty um, you know, a small program that launch that spawn multiple threads uh, just to connect to the bot master and I have my back door here okay my back door oh, oh Python okay so if we just go ahead and launch it and specify the number of line we want to use and in this case I am going to you know to use 100 and 100 clients uh, and why is that why is why did I specify 101 because I'm starting from one okay so so from one so let me uh, Python just range of from one to 101 so as you can see here from one I want um, to spawn this given client from one to 100 okay just that's, that's what I mean okay so let's launch it so as you can see here guys uh, and by the way I am connecting f I'm connecting from Kali Linux this is another machine hack um, ETH0 this is another machine 0.5 and the Ubuntu machine has a an IP address of 0.2 okay so excellent so now the current ID is 0 and if we type in sessions as you can see here we have from 199 I don't know where it is what where is 100 but anyway so let's our hosts our our host this command okay so if we type in help this is the help let me you know type it again as you can see here this is the help and this is the existing commands anyway so let me you know um, um, let's launch another um, 100 clients okay 100 client um, basically there's a lot of client here now okay we have as you can see here if we type in sessions we have 197 197 clients okay and 98 uh, not 97 because the current ID session with with which is zero uh, is no longer exists here because it hasn't been blocked we are dealing with it so if we try to get for example uh, session ID number 100 the last one look at so it's pretty much fast okay as you can see here now we are dealing with client 197 and as you can see here the IP address has been changed so it we, we, we were dealing with computer uh, with IP address 0.5 and now we are dealing with another computer which is which has an IP address 0.2 as you can see here so the ID is 197 and if we try to cut for example ETC OS um, release so now we're dealing with Debian okay so if we try to get for example client number uh, uh, 10 and we cut ETC OS release release so now we're dealing with Kali Linux as you can see here, it's pretty much it's fast um, I, I, I am using the binary array search so let me so what I'm what I'm gonna show you here is I am going to go to you know this the Kali Linux and I am going to close all the existing client okay Python minus 9 Python oh, oh. I'm sorry pkl minus nine and as you can see here we have killed all the existing sessions and now we are connecting um, with the current session ID is 10 which has been blocked because we have we, we, we have been connected this particular session has been connected from um, Kali Linux so if we try to execute commands as you can see here the botnet told us that the session ID 10 has been closed excellent so let's try to get uh, one if we try to execute another command, oh, client one has been closed. If we try to get, you know, two, as always, client one um, has been closed or ID two. Okay. So if we try to get one hundred and one, 
and try to execute commands ID now we are dealing with the remote machine so if we try to type in sessions um, as you can see here guys there is no um, the the closed session 1 and 2 and 100 or 1 and 2 and for example uh, just remember we have here 30 and you know we have 3 4 5 6 and 7 so if we try to connect to those computers and you know try to get 5 and clear 5 and 4 for example try to execute commands now if we try to get 150 now we are dealing with the other computer but if we type in sessions uh, session 3 1 2 3 and 0 and 5 sex um, has been removed from the list okay as you can see here there is no IDs uh, uh, here okay so basically what I'm what I want to change here is for example if we if we try to connect from you know from if now we have some close connections you know from 1 to 100 and if another computer you know uh, if another client gets connected to our botmaster automatically the current configuration of the botnet will actually assign an id of the last one plus one what i mean by that is as you can see here the last id is 197 okay if you if you kind of look at it 197 so if, if another client gets connected um it will take uh, 198 okay and this is stupid and what I want to do here to to make our botnet you know aware of the the closed or I wanted to I want I want, I want my botnet to keep track of the closed sessions and the connecting the connected sessions so if an, if a closed session for example the session ID number number one has been disconnected or client number one has been disconnected and we got a connection from another client I don't want that client to take the ID as 198 but it would take the ID number one I haven't include uh, include that included that yet but I'm working on it so uh, just uh, stay tuned for this uh, feature um, hopefully you like this program and as you can see here we are dealing we are dealing uh, we are jumping uh, or switching from one client to other clients as you can see here um, uh, so if we go to 196 for example as you can see it's pretty pretty fast um, hopefully you like it and I'll keep you posted guys of every single new on my botnet thank you for viewing this video bye bye